The year was 1954. With their sturdy, broken-down microphones, they were headed for greatness in the American West. Jack and Ron in the morning. If you don't laugh like this, you're probably normal. The following entertainment special contains mature subject matter. Parents may consider some of the program content unsuitable for children. Parental discretion is advised. of radio here's jack and ron hey here we are one more time at othello's italian restaurant in edmond oklahoma at one south broadway historic downtown edmond come up here check out the great italian food they have another location in norman on campus corner but in the meantime it's jack damn elliott ron damn williams america's two favorite jackasses the trash of the broadcast industry the garbage of the broadcast community and it's something we're proud of man you very sound so so appetizing you know (laughs) how appropriate that we're here and doing our job what is our job now podcasting uh the number one video podcast i point that out again the number one video podcast in america coast to coast worldwide we're blowing up all over the damn planet and probably into various other solar systems as well got a lot of crap coming up on this program today (laughs) we've got two tough trivia here in a flash uh we've got uh email roy the movie guy uh oh we got uh another one of those classic jack and ron leave it to beaver episodes coming up i love i absolutely love those (laughs) So and, many and, of them that we've done over the years. It reminds me of either me talking to my old man or my son talking to me. <laughs> either way. <laughs> yeah, either it, way. It's very uh, very reminiscent, too, of the original Leave it to Beaver program. Only through an interpretation you can only get and only be derived by Jack and Ron. So yeah, keep that in mind. Me. We are uh, we're providing that to you again today, coming up here in about 30, 40 minutes or so. Also... Uh, Tribond and the dumbass joke of the day and your sleazy, trashy Hollywood report. Got to squeeze all that in. Also got to thank uh, the main sponsor of this uh, show, Flash Hauler. We tell you Uber moves people. Flash Hauler moves merchandise, washers, dryers, sofas, ottoman, couch, whatever, beds, you name it. And now they are the game changers in the moving industry. We'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, It's one flat rate. There's no more of this. Uh, how much does it weigh? Uh, how many hours in the day? None of that crap. And they've got drivers all over the community, all over the state. We'll tell you more about Flash Holler, an incredible company. If you want to know more, go to Flash Holler, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R dot com. Flash right, Holler dot uh, com. like to say uh, howdy to Sonny Beam. Oh. Uh, sent uh, 50 stars. Thank, Thank you, you, Sonny. Appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Way to and go, for Sonny. everybody else, I mean, uh, you know, you got... Check your pockets. You got a star? Uh-huh. If you start, send them to us, won't you? Yeah, please do. Yeah. Feel free. All right. I'm checking my, uh, ah, there we are. Yours came up earlier than mine. That's great. I, mean, I don't know. That's because I was looking longer. <laughs> looking longer. <laughs> Millie, Millie Stone says, hello, gentlemen. Happy Monday. Hey, Millie, good to have you with us. Uh, and uh, Brittany, Brittany Johnson. Hmm. Brittany hmm. Johnson. It, the, the, the spelling of the name is B R I T T A N I E, and I'm it's like probably still Brittany. Brittany. It's just an exotic way to spell Brittany. A longer way to spell it. See, yeah, right, right there, man. See, it's not popping up on my yeah. unit, but and, uh, and earn Cadillac. Oh, Britain, Brittany. Oh, is that was that what it is? It's Britain, Brittany, B R I T A I N, and then Brittany, B R I T T A N. N I A gets me. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little different. Hey, thank you for for checking yeah, us out. Regardless. Thanks for watching, no matter what. Yeah. 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 Glad to have you. Uh, we got to get to your two tough trivia to kick things off. Let's do it. Well, <laughs> what is the world's fastest shark? You know, we've had a lot of uh, news. We've been out to the ocean with uh, that submersible wanting to go see the uh, Titanic, which you can easily see on all of the other video that they have of the of the of the Titanic mm-hmm. you don't have to go right down there you're not going to go get out and, and do anything at any rate uh, thinking about water what's the world's fastest shark the world's fastest the world's shark. fastest shark and and as a result well, one what, there's, there's a name to. There, there's a name for this shark oh yes like a great white or whatever yes all right yes indeed. but it, I guess it's not the great white you are absolutely correct uh, is that the tar- tiger shark or hammer? 
No, <laughs> no, no. And the the, the, shark. the great white shark is lazy and is one of the slower sharks in the ocean. That's why I don't mind swimming with them. I can, yeah. out, I can out swim that son of a gun yeah. any day. Yeah, right. All right. So what is the fastest shark in the world? In the world. All right. There you go. There's your two tough qu trivia question. We'll get to the answer at the end of this podcast. Okay. Before we get to any additional information, we got a ton of it. We do a thing called Ask. Yeah, relatively so. Let me check this out. <clears throat> okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, it's right. We're ready. We're ready, man. All right, uh, here we go. Asinine trivia. Trivia so easy, it's asinine. Question number one, Richard. What color? What color on a stoplight means go? Green. Green is right. Sometimes good job. Yellow too. Go fast. Yeah, I was yeah. about to In say New yellow York, means yeah. go go yeah. real go faster, fast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you start huh? in the middle of the block. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go with question number two. Who slides down the chimney Christmas Eve and brings you presents? Not a damn body, but uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, there you go. Let's see. <clears throat> now the Grinch slides down and takes them though, right? Yeah. So just yeah. the opposite. This All one right, brings them. Double double checking. Okay, final question. Question number three. Name the two guys who have won more broadcast awards than any other broadcasters in Oklahoma, mm. who also enjoy spitting watermelon seeds into each other's belly button while sitting in a hot tub filled with <laughs> raspberry-flavored Dr. Pepper, and who also <laughs> perform the number one video podcast in America. Jack and Ron! Hey. Jack and Ron, you, you got guys, it. You guys are talented with your lips. Yeah, yeah good job, good you know, job. And I'm, I'm sitting here, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at both of you, and I'm hoping that the clock is not running on our performances and things like that. You say, Ron, what in the hell are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What are you talking about? Okay. Right now, robots will be picking the next hit. Researchers have gone through this, and they've done a little bit of this before. The next hit record? Yeah. Or that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they've refined it. Because it was, I think, at 45 and 50%. Uh, now uh, they have it down to a robot, an AI, will pick the next hit and a 97% accuracy rate, rate. Really? Yes. So I don't know what else they're going to you know, put on it. But now the AI is... What, what, what is that going to do for a lot of the artists who are out there who, you know, the, the ear, the human ear saying, yeah, I like this. And AI is saying, no, no, this is bad. <laughs> I might try to see if I can get the AI to do like a whole Jack and Ron show. Good luck. There's <laughs> an idea. <laughs> see what it sounds it, like. It's funny you, you mentioned that. Up to the masters. We have some AI information coming up here in just a little bit that involves a radio personality and how AI is really... Uh, at this point, it's becoming a little, uh, what would you say, suspect for some radio personalities as to how positive or negative AI can be to the industry of radio. Yeah, so, well, I, that come all I know is after a while, even with a 97% accuracy and picking a hit record, hit song, whatever, I, I don't like that because the more we give to AI, the more they'll take and the more we are pushed back from decision making and everything else, so uh, I don't know yeah. who's who's you know sitting on there. I think we're giving a, back of the lap. We're, doing we're, that we're giving up a lot yeah. by giving to. Um, Thank you by letting AI inf uh, you know, infiltrate uh, the broadcast industry and other industries as well. By the way, Patty Stowers is watching. Uh, Says hello, Jack and Ron. Thanks, uh, Patty. Not by Wes <laughs> Thompson. Well, who's that? Wes Thompson. I don't got that name. I'm what, like, what, what, why it, is it? We got, I get some names and you don't. And I don't know. It's just a flip of what it's been for the last just, few, yeah. few well, <laughs> years. Uh, okay, I got Patty. Uh, Brenda Spann. Uh, I don't have all the Kathy names. Kathy Carver. I don't have any of those. And Why? Azel Junker. Jo J -O -N Are you Junker. signed on under Jack and Ron or Ron Williams? Uh, Jack and Ron. And me too. Wait a minute. Jack. Run. Yeah, I, but I meant <laughs> under our admin and all that crap. I just didn't know if you were on as uh, Jack and Ron or. And I'll be quite honest with you. It, it feels good not to be left out anymore like I yeah, was in the Like you past, had been for a while. Yeah, like, hey, I don't know. I don't have this name on mine. So 
Well, let's see here. Am I on a, just double checking there? Sorry, okay. folks. I'm now, while you're trying doing to go that, through this. Yeah, I'm at Jack and Ron. That okay. if, uh, you, you remember something we used to have, the soap opera moments and things like that. People oh, have yeah. Problems I'm gonna forget. things of that nature. Well, you can still be part of the soap opera moment, and you can call us, and we can talk to you, or we'll just play your call back. All you need to do is call us at 405-509-5030. That's 405-509-5030. 5030. You can call right now. We might have a chance to get to your call before this particular broadcast is over. And one reminder, too, it takes about 10 rings. It's a kind of a Google phone call thing. It'll transfer you to a recording. Uh, when it's time to record, it'll tell you. Just leave your message. Leave any kind of message. Just tell us how much you think. Uh, any kind of message. <laughs> well, <laughs> for the you know some of the people we attract, man. Yeah. <laughs> Now, maybe I'm wrong there, but leave us a message. It could be good. It can be semi-good. It could be just God awful. Yeah, maybe you got a question. Maybe you got a problem, or, yeah. or you just want to say, hey, Jack and Ron, love you. All right. You know. Here's one for you. If you're looking for a new job, there's a billionaire in the U.K. He's hiring a live-in dog nanny. Now, you've heard of nannies who take care of kids. This is a dog nanny to take care of the family's two dogs. He's got two dogs. You can apply online to pay $127,000 a year. Hello. Hand up. Hand ruff, up. Ruff, I'm, ruff. I'm ready. Let's now, go. If I, yeah. You have to live there too, right? Well, where is he living? It pay in the UK. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that much that much money, yeah. Yeah. I think I gotta run a background check on him first. Well, of course. Probably. Before you get on the plane, man. You, <laughs> you got all your stuff in no. the baggage. No, you gotta you got you gotta well, know. You're not going to be the only one to check apply. His PCs too. <laughs> check his computers. Yeah. Look at that history. That, that check that computer history. history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're you're not going to be the only one to apply. Hundreds of people have already applied for the job. Uh, you can read the entire job listing and apply online too if you want. It's uh, on a fancy staffing site called Fairfa Fairfax and Kensington. That's Fairfax and Kensington. You can look it up. Now, now this person no. not have any relatives? Well, the person has two beloved dogs that require top-tier care and must be treated like valued members of the family. Yeah, but yeah, but the, the family I'm speaking of is this person's family is going to be paying the money. Sure, the fa well, the the guy who's the billionaire, yeah, he's paying it. He doesn't, he doesn't have an, uh, no grandchildren or children. They or, don't want to do that. Yeah, they yeah. see, Ron, that's exactly why I got to do that background. Yeah, a yeah. hundred and some odd thousand dollars a, uh, a year. Money well, we got it. Did you say hi to Michael Shepard already? I believe you did. Now, bring it, Brianna Montez. And uh, James Nicholson all oh. checking in, and so is Benny Elkins. Hey, yeah. guys, thanks. Don't, don't forget about Dominique. Dominique is Jacques. Very good. Is also so checking us here, out. Let me just give you the rundown on this job now. Yeah. Uh, they got two beloved dogs that require top-tier care. They're looking for a live-in dog nanny. What type of dog? So you'd be staying in their mansion. <laughs> uh -huh. They don't say. Uh, it's some sort of guest house that they have. You live rent-free. Hundred twenty-seven grand a year. You live rent free. Uh -huh. Just take care of these two damn dogs. Now, where do the dogs live? They live in the mansion while you live outside. In I'm the not sure how that works. It says you'll need to coordinate Jeez. all vet appointments. Big deal. How often they go to the vet? Once a month. Uh, keep detailed records of their health, their medical history. Develop, and then they want you to develop a quote personalized exercise regimen for each dog. Maybe a light jog. Mix in some Pilates. I don't know. You'll need to accompany them on domestic and international trips. Now, now why? Well, that sounds pretty damn good to me. That don't sound too bad. Yeah, now, well, now, why is this? Why is he wanting this to happen? He is just, he, he about the, to die? He, is he, no, he, he loves the dogs, not enough but to he take doesn't care want to himself. Right. He doesn't want to take care of me. He doesn't want the headache, the responsibility. That's why you hire somebody to do that. You don't think somebody like Taylor Swift or Paris Hilton takes care of their own animals. They they look cute when they hold them, and then they turn them back over to their dog person. <laughs> and they don't do any of that. We know better. Yeah, take when Pookie, you're a gazillionaire. Take, take Pookie away from me. Yeah. I, I think Pookie's starting to stream on my on my dress <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> anyway, you got to be a living. You live on the... Uh, the beautiful, uh, apparently rent-free guest house, and then you'll accompany them on the domestic and international trips, and you'll have to arrange things like 
pet-friendly accommodations for the dogs. You'll be organizing play dates with other dogs uh-huh. and finding enriching activities to stimulate their senses. Uh-huh. And you all dogs are they? Yeah, I'm waiting to find out. A couple that. of Great Danes. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I don't see anything here where it mentions what type of dogs they yeah, are. See? It says you'll also handle all the normal stuff that comes with having a dog, like like. <laughs> Uh, feeding and bathing them. I never bathed my dog. I took it to the groomer to get bathed. That's yeah, see, now I'm lucky. My dog is about six pounds, and I put. But you think if it's a billionaire, that that dog should be going to the groom. What yeah, says? I either have the groomer come yeah. there and and, and t- tighten everything. Up. You know, that 127 is not looking as. <laughs> Attractive well, as it was, but before. you're still living rent free. You're traveling with them on their international trips on a private jet, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, they're looking for a candidate who has experience with dogs, preferably other rich people's dogs. You'll also have to be willing to work irregular hours like weekends and holidays, and you'll need a driver's license so you can shuttle them around from point. A to point B and on their various appointments. What's this? I'd, I'd definitely do it. If the dogs are nice, I would do it. Yeah. You better find out before you go. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. What, what was the Hilton, uh, the Hilton chick's name? Paris. Paris, Paris Hilton. Hilton. She yeah, that I, little a lot of her commercials Chihuahua. you see her with the little, with the little teeny dog. And, I still and see her on TV commercials with that damn dog. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. That could, be, that could be her 10th Chihuahua for all we know. Yeah, the others have been <clears> killed. Uh, did uh, Darren, Kevin Tonips and uh, Gloria Marot? Did you mention her? Uh, no. Kevin uh, Tonips, Tonips, Ray Dean, uh, Darren Carey, Sinead um, McCluskey, Kathy Hill Weatherspoon, Nathan, Nathan Smith. Yeah. yeah, I got him. Bert Hudson, Martin Smith. Man, we got a bunch of people checking it out Emily today. Jane, what, what, did I see Emily Jane? You may have. I did. I saw Emily Jane and there Martin Smith. Very good. Hey, all right. Thanks for checking us out. Yeah. Thanks to all you guys for checking us out. We got some other stuff to cover, including audio. Here's one for you. A uh, influencer on TikTok openly bragging about defrauding credit card companies to buy nice things. Uh, this guy, he's got quite the scam going. Listen to this TikTok uh, influencer talking about how he defrauds or whatever you call it. or Yeah, defrauds the credit card companies. Listen up. He's a crook. Went and opened business credit cards in that account. I then proceeded to go on, buy this for $100,000. I'm going to turn around and sell it to a jeweler for $80,000 in cash, which now gives me the cash. I'll file bankruptcy on the company. I'll never have to actually pay it back. Frauding a credit card company, you're going to prison, buddy. Yeah. But it, that is a cool scam, isn't it? Yeah, but, but you look at it and it's, and, it's, and it's almost like, okay, this is great. What a great idea. And, and, and the time that you get... <laughs> it, it'll be worth it. Yeah, you'll you, need that eighty thousand dollars just for the attorney's fees, uh, or to pay those inmates to stay off of you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> boy, no doubt about it. You bought this, it online. Uh, this is quite the scam, you though, don't home. you think? You you know your personal credit cards you're personally responsible for. But if you open up a business that doesn't really exist, and you develop a mm. business name and all that, it's fraud. And then, yeah, and then you go. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, sure, it sure, is. Sure, sure, but sure. I mean, hey. <laughs> For those of you who don't mind being, you know, living on the edge and maybe getting away with it, go ahead, open up a business credit card, uh, open up a business, develop a business, open the credit card under the business name, and then go ahead and rack up big charges, then file bankruptcy on the business, shut the business down, and you've got, like he said, he bought a $100,000 watch. Better be a damn nice watch. Must be like a Rolex or some such thing with he'll, a diamond bevel. He said he'll quickly sell that, right? Yes, yeah, turn yeah. around, sell it to a jeweler for eighty grand. The jeweler can turn right around and sell it for ninety or hundred. All right, now yeah. Yeah. the latest on that, and, and I'm, I'm digging what you're saying. A lot of credit companies, banks, or whoever, financial institutions, whoever heads those up, they've now started. If you file bankruptcy, okay, fine. You don't owe all of this. But you are going to make payments on it. Oh, they have it now. Where okay, you make payments on this, 
Whatever you work out with, fine. But you're not going to escape. You're not going to wow. slide yeah. away from and all of this. You're going to make payments on this. And they look at all your your. Oh yeah, yeah. They check. You know. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Well, sketchy. It was a good idea while it lasted. Well, we got to say it, hi it to still last. But you know, Bob cares. Streeter, Deborah Joyce Kloppenberg, uh, Paul Larson, uh, Francine Bola Below Belieu. Yeah. You That's get cool get name. Get and Gary Watson. Yeah, Gary Gary Thompson. Yeah, we got him. All right. Got a bunch of people checking it out today. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the number one video podcast in America. And don't go away because we got to take a quick commercial break here. Stacy, uh, Stacy Chessman. She said she was going to go ahead and check us out. Oh, and Steve Dixie Oaks. Steve Oaks. Yeah. Uh, the guy who owns uh, Biotech, the product we tell you about all the time, Shine Time. Uh, in fact, I Shine Time two of my vehicles over the weekend. Um, Shine Time is one of the best products you could ever use on your vehicle. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, I did. Well, okay. Well, then you let me know. I'd have brought mine over, and you could have had a. You would have had a great time. I would have done so, but I was in the middle of uh, concentrating on my two vehicles, and I thought, oh, it's going to get late. Ron has places to go. He doesn't have time for me to do his. But at any rate, you get Shine Time. Go to <laughs> Biotech. Yeah, go go to biotech dot com. Uh, I believe that's their website. Is that it? Uh, I, I think believe so. yeah, biotech. Uh, they're the ones who produce produce Shine Time, and you can use it on any part of your vehicle. You can use it on, obviously on the paint; it'll shine the heck out of it. Uh, you can use it on glass, leather, plastic, whatever. Shine Time, great product. So Steve is watching today. Wanted to make sure he knew we. Uh, we're appreciative of the product that he provides. Without a doubt. <clears throat> okay, we'll take a quick break. Uh, check out all these, and I mean, they're short commercials. And then we'll come right back with Roy, the movie guy, and some emails. Stand by. Hey, Jack. Hey, Kay. I need some wings. Are you guys up there? Affirmative. Your backup is cloud base. It's all on the cloud nowadays. That's funny. But do you guys have the wings? Winger, Jack. Winger. Winger. Hey, they had a couple of big hits back in the 80s, remember? Winger, big hair. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louie's, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Come try one of our great new sandwiches. Or wings with any of seven delicious sauces. Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. We've got this down to a science. Over. Yeah, we're just not up here winging. Hey, Al, I thought we were meeting at Othello's. Hey, Jack, I am at Othello's. Well, I'm looking around, and I don't see you. Well, wait, are you at Othello's in Edmond? No, I'm at Othello's in Campus Corner in Norman. Oh, great. Well, fortunately, both Othello's have great Italian food. They sure do, and I'm having the baked ziti. Ooh, I'm having chicken marsala. Let's continue with the meeting. Yeah, sure thing, over the phone, but I need one thing. What's that? Uh, your credit card number, because you're buying. Othello's Italian Restaurant on Campus Corner in Norman and in downtown Edmond. You bought it online, and now you need to haul that big couch. Flash hauler it. Bought a washer or dryer and need to transport it from the seller's location to yours? Flash hauler it. Have office furniture to move across town? Flash hauler it. Car breakdown and you need a tow? Flash hauler it. Anytime you need furniture or appliances moved or need a tow, Flash hauler it. Haul it, tow it, deliver it with Flash hauler. Download the Flash hauler app free. Do it now. Flash hauler. Uh, Flash Hauler is an incredible company. Uh, they're a true game changer in the moving industry, the moving business. We tell you Uber transports people, Flash Hauler transports merchandise, and I'm not kidding. You go to Flash Hauler, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. They're one of our original sponsors on this show, and uh, this show and our relationship with them have done both of us so much good. They've stuck with us. They've put up with our ignorance. They've put up with our stupidity, and we thank them for that, and we thank you for supporting Flash Hauler. They have drivers all over the city, much like Uber, but they take care of moving your stuff. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, why yeah. don't you? Now, now, do they move furniture? Oh, they move furniture. Uh, in and out of the house? In and out. Uh, what about storage moves? Maybe you got a bunch of furniture or, or whatever, and it, it, go, it needs to go to storage. They'll, they'll take it there and put it in there? They'll right? take it there. They'll pick it up. They'll move it from one point to the other point. All right, mate, you're going to quit your job. Will they go to the office and get all your stuff? <laughs> Including some of the stuff that belongs to the boss. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, but only if all authorized yeah, all right. yeah hey folks this is who you want to call definitely no doubt about it they offer a variety of services and basically you know we used to call them drivers haulers packers whatever now they're just simply service providers they do it all uh they'll do house moves material delivery senior moves you know a lot of seniors are moving from larger homes to smaller dwellings or even assisted living they help with that they'll move it all they do it all for you. Flash hauler. 
Check them out. Oh, and I wanted to make a, make a point, too. Uh, you can get online for an estimate of your job. Simple enough. Flashholler.com, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. Quick and easy. All moves come with a simple flat rate, okay? No hourly crap. No hourly charges. Not like those other rat ba- you know, uh, this is a good company. Uh, flat rate. That's how they've become oh, the game changer of the moving industry. Now, let me give you that website one more time. Yeah, and you, you better you better do that. Yeah, why don't you check it out right now? <laughs> Flash Holler. F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R dot com. Flash Holler dot com. All right. You know, we have people who have all kinds of issues, all kinds of problems. People who contact us and say, hey, uh, Jack and Ron, uh, what do you do when you have, like, a, a rash on your thigh? Well, we have all kinds of answers for you, generally in the, you know, the Department of Jack and Ron's Medical yeah, Stop wearing department. all that corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is, email from people with problems. Dear Jack and Ron, my kids are scary. They watch all of the latest movies and shows then sleep with their lights on all (laughs) night long, or we find them sliding into our room. Wow. Now, they're in elementary school right now, and so they are so scary, they don't even pull pranks on each other. I suggest, I suggested uh, no more horror movies or zombies, but they still watch them. I'm tired of their shenanigans and their attitude. What do you suggest? Well, you act like you're not the parent. (laughs) <laughs> Sounds like the tail's wagging the dog. No kidding. What's going on? Well, first of all, you can easily scare them. Ah. You scare them enough until finally they stay away from that stuff. They had what was the, sec- what was the second episode of The Walking Dead, Dead City last night. Oh, yeah, that'll so, scare them. So who knows what they w- went through last night. But here's the deal. If you don't want to go ahead and, and pull out the, the, the rough parent angle, then go ahead and scare them. Scare them so much until they never want to watch another scary movie or television show again. Mm-hmm. If they won't suggest, you know, follow your suggestion, don't do that. There I, you go. Now that that <laughs> happened to me a long time ago when uh, it was a movie. Well, I'm telling my age, it was called Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh God, yeah, I remember that one. And I stayed and watched that at the at the movies <laughs> until I was getting ready to leave, and it was dark outside. <laughs> That's when it's and scary. Then, it was like, oh man. Anyway, yeah. I, I caught heck for that. But you know, that's it. Take con- take control. Let a parent be a parent. Take uh, control. You know yeah. that uh, my uh, four year old granddaughter. I just found out. I saw her the other day. A picture of her. She has now become a huge fan at the age of four of the original Adams Family TV show. Oh wow! I don't know if it's because maybe there's something f- a, f- a fascination with black and white TV. You know, the show was in black and white. Adam's family. So, you know, the, the kids that age have only seen color video, color movies, color, everything's in color. So when you see something for the first time in black and white, it looks, it, sca- it, it looks scarier. Yeah. And she's watching. Yeah. I mean, the little four year old, she just loves the Adam's family. Remember Morticia, Lurch? Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you know, the big show <laughs> last year and at the beginning of this uh, year was Wednesday. Yeah, that, Wednesday, and, which, and which was uh, the Adams family, mm-hmm. and uh, now was the girl who played Wednesday in that show Wednesday? Was she the actual original? No, no, no okay, no, no. no is that, that one dead too? Because I think Pugsley is dead. The original yeah. one? The ori- I'm not sure. Well, the original Pugsley is definitely dead. Um, I'm I'm not sure. You're talking about the original Wednesday? No, I think the original Wednesday might be dead too. Hmm. Oh, Wednesday yeah. was a character in the Adams family. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the show, yeah. Um, but any right, yeah. This, the Wednesday they have, uh, I, I think it's on uh, Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I mean, it, it, that show was so hot, they <laughs> signed it up for another season. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I don't know All what right. to tell you. <clears throat> Got to say hi to Gilliam Logan, who's uh, watching today. Thank you, Gilliam Harris Smith Issy, watching today. Palmer Fred. Or Fred Palmer, I don't know. Issy, I've never Michael, heard of a name, Issy. Michael Myers is watching. Hey, Mike, how are you? Glad to have you with us. Glad to have all you guys checking out the number one video podcast in America. Please share this podcast, you know, on your Facebook page. Uh, share it with everybody you know, friends, relatives, people you hate, your pet monkey, whatever. <laughs> share this. Share the damn podcast for us, would you? I believe right. she died at 64. Died at the Lisa, age of 64. Lisa, Wednesday? Yeah, the original Wednesday. Lisa Loring. Uh, Lisa died. Loring, okay. Whoa, did she die this year? She may have just died recently. Yeah, I think it was January. Yeah, yeah. January thirty first. Oh, okay, year. when the new Wednesday came out, yeah. I guess she checked out. Yeah. How about that? She was only sixty four. Yep. Wow. 
It's not that old anymore. People live a lot longer than that. What about yeah. Lurch? You rang. Oh, I know he's, he's dead. He's better. And what about Thing? Remember the hand that used to come out of a box? And yeah. <laughs> what? Who came up with that? You know what I found out the other day? Um, oh, crap. And now I, I just, it just, I blanked. The, uh, the guy who wrote all those shows was, oh, man, the father of a very important actor right now. Like. Were they, were they just a scary comedy or what? No, just the guy who writes a guy who's in a lot of different movies, but not scary movies as such. Uh, well, anyway. Is he dead? I think he's alive. Oh. You know, I might be able to check real quick here. I was going to say Don Knotts? No, Don Knotts. <laughs> Let me check this real quick and see if I have the answer for you. I've got a, I've got a zap out of one uh, element of my uh, unit to another. And find out if I have the name. Well, you want to check with Roy the Movie Guy while you're checking? Yeah, I was yeah, about to say check. do that, and then we can come back and you can <laughs> yeah. fill us in. Roy the Movie Guy is with us. He's checking out all the stuff going on at the box office. Hey, guys, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Now let's talk about what's opening up this weekend at the box office. Up first, we have Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, with starring the voice talents of Annie Murphy, Lana Condor, Jane Fonda, and Liza Koshy. Ruby Gilman is a sweet and awkward high school student who discovers she's a direct descendant of the warrior Kraken Queens. The Kraken are sworn to protect the oceans of the world against the vain, power-hungry mermaids. Destined to inherit the throne from her commanding grandmother, Ruby must use her newfound powers to protect those she loves the most. Rated PG with a runtime of 1 hour and 31 minutes long. Up next we have Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, starring Harrison Ford, Mads Mikkelsen, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Antonio Banderas, and Boyd Holbrook. Daredevil archaeologist Indiana Jones races against time to retrieve a legendary dial that can change the course of history. Accompanied by his goddaughter, he soon finds himself squaring off against Jürgen Voller, a former Nazi who works for NASA. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of 2 hours and 22 minutes long. And that's a look at what's opening up th this weekend at the box office. Back to you guys in the studio. You know, I get the impression sometimes when you, you talk about uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Destiny Dial or Dial of Destiny, mm -hmm. that with the way things are going on in the world right now, somebody has found something and has screwed everything up. <laughs> you, I mean, you look around and I mean, you think from when you were much younger up until now, yeah. some of the things that are so insane, it's like, are you kidding me? All right, just, uh, I've got the answer for you. Okay. Uh, the Adams Family. Those shows were written by Henry Winkler's father. Henry Winkler, remember the Fonz? Yeah. Yeah, his so father was, wrote Adams Family. Was show. it Henry, Henry Winkler Sr.? Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe it was. By the way, Charles Scott is now watching. Thanks for checking in, Charles. We appreciate uh, you, you having You got it. Teresa where? <clears throat> uh, I didn't see Teresa. Beverly Papa. Trigg. Okay. Dylan McKinney. Hey, all cool stuff. All right. Yeah. Hey, we got something for you. It's another clip of audio that you're going to like. Uh, and this is for specifically for people in our industry, how this uh, new AI or artificial intelligence thing is getting scary. Uh, they have officially come up with the very first AI DJ or radio personality on a radio station. Her name mm. is Ashley Z. And she works at Portland's Live 95.5 FM. She'll be doing her midday shift now with the support of an AI version of herself. So here we have audio for you. Because this what the, this AI does, it could take my voice, Ron's voice, Richard's voice, your voice. And it can duplicate it. And it can just simply, you could type out, um, say, uh, use Ron Williams' voice to talk 30 seconds about uh, installing a new tire on a vehicle. Well, bam, within 30 seconds, the audio comes out with Ron describing how you remove the tire. All this stuff, all, you don't have to do anything to really produce mm -hmm. Ron's voice again. It's him. I, I, anyway. This is yeah. bad. I don't know if it's being mentioned, but somebody's already pulled a million crime using a. We'll, we'll check on that in a second. All right. Uh, it's AI. This is the said it was Ashley Z on 95 Portland. Uh, the real. And then she follows it with the. X. Closely. Today I go from. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, all right. It sounds pretty damn close to just a little bit faster. Just spoke a little faster than the original, Ashley, yeah. but now the, that's the, what's going on. The fraud came when a lady received a phone call that she perceived was from her daughter. And it sounded just like her daughter. Uh-huh, and they're holding me. Mom, mom, mom. Anyway, she paid $1 million ransom, and her, her, her daughter was off with uh, some of her friends on vacation. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, I love my kids. Don't get me wrong. But you know what? I'm checking stuff out before I try to dig up a million dollars before I go and knock on Jack Elliott's door. Here we go. <laughs> we got more people to say hello to. Victor <laughs> Namanyayo. I think that's a Namanyo uh, is watching. Uh, you got Clara Lee. I got Luann Gerardot. Uh -huh. Larry Ackerley. Sherry Tar Ogland. McKay. Uh, Micah. M Micah. Micah Lee. And Nancy Levine. Staggerly's cousin. Good know. to have all okay. you guys checking it out. Be sure to share this podcast with everybody you know. It's important. And what's also important is for us to get to what we refer to as, and you're going to love it, News of the I'll Be Damned. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Man, a 46-year-old man from Florida named David was caught shoplifting items from a Target store last Monday. He bought some groceries, but he did not pay for other items that he took, including uh -oh. a pink vibrator, some condoms, personal lubricant, and several sexual enhancement what products. What store was this? He must be Target. Well, they have Target. A, they sell vibrators at Target? He must have been applying for the Jack and Ron show. <laughs> you might, yeah. Well, well not, 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 you know, I'll tell you, on those vibrators, a lot of them, they may look like they're for you know, one reason. But, oh, for a massage uh -huh. or, yeah, muscle but, but, relax. But, but yeah. people actually use, use them, them for other or things. at least uh, if you ask them, they'll tell you. They use them for back massage or something like that. Well, caught on surveillance footage and the cop called. Uh, they cornered him. Tried to get him into the police car. The Fell out of his pants. What? He had a pink vibrator in his pants. <laughs> and in the chest cam video, you can see it on the ground and when it fell out and on the ground. Uh, David, yeah. David faces one count of theft, one count of grand theft, and four counts of larceny. On 3,000 bond. Got another new the I'll be damned for you. Man, they need uh, to get that guy. See, that's, you know, a lot of times when they. Do different they things. Just need that, mentally, he needs a little help. He's reaching out for help. That's why right. recognize it. Will your reaches out to Wilson, who just checked video podcast as well, the number one video podcast. One more story. A name Damien robbed a woman outside of her home. That's uh, <laughs> well, get this after she gave over the hundred dollars in cash, uh, then still with the gun pointed at her, he asked her if she had a boyfriend and if she'd add him on his on her Facebook page, uh, make him a friend on Facebook. He even showed her his profile and forced her to add him right there. He said he'd even pay her back. Then he ran off. Uh, they even exchanged Facebook messages. Damien still trying to score a date and promising to pay her back. At one point, he said, 